Where did the name Paramore come from? Our friend's mom's maiden name. The French spelling is P-A-R-A-M-O-U-R. That looks really beautiful and all, but we chose to go the spelling of our the, cool the, the maiden name. Yeah. I'm not even giving anyone any information until I figure out who is the documentary on you guys? Oh, okay. I I met Haley like five years ago and she was playing acoustic on a stage and her name was Haley. That's right, my name was my name was Haley. And there was about thirty people and within those thirty people were me and Chris and it's true. We went out and told all of our friends who then went out and bought the new Paramore record. So wow. you have me to thank for Paramore's <laughs> booming success. Drop some freaking flowers and fruitcakes into the radio stations. Next thing you know, boom, done. I like when I see the real deal. I got a call about this girl and this band, Paramore. As soon as I saw them walk on stage and I saw her, I go, they're the real deal. Yeah. We're gonna start rolling, and I'm speeding. Me too. Oh, hey, didn't see you there, big camera. <laughs> yeah, you're like daddy shark. <laughs> I'm like baby whale. This tree has any kind of gum you need. You got your orbit, your juicy fruit. I'm like, man, my breath stinks. Tree of gum right here is Take it much. Go get some cheese sticks. Let's eat them. We're in Philly. We're at Ishkabibbles on South Street. Oh, look at this thing. Not only is it a heart, but it also doubles as a flower. Well, when we first started, it was my house, or our house. Thank you. And then we moved over to Jeremy's house, practiced in the middle of his living room. Yeah. As soon as he walked we in the door. We would move the couches, like, out. <laughs> and play. I don't know how your parents did that. My family was cool about it. Sister My wasn't. Sister. <laughs> <laughs> she hated it. She would get home and she'd be like, ugh. And she would just leave. We wouldn't see her anymore. We're <laughs> going to play. Let's do it. Woo. Freaking going to main stage. You know why? Because we're playing main stage. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Where's that? Oh, Zach's going. So Jeremy and I are in this like phone cover bin and um, hey, yeah, we're not talking. So yeah, it's awesome. So Jeremy and I were in this funk cover bin and Jeremy would like tap on his bass and stuff. That's weird. You never did that ever. So Jeremy thought he'd represent today. But we're in the low cap hat. Main stage and warp tour, you know, it's not very often that you get to play main stage and warp tour, so we're soaking it in. I got drum lessons for my ninth birthday. Then for two years I took drum lessons and I finally got a drum kit. Started as soon as he got his drum kit. Started when he was eleven. <laughs> Whenever I came in, he had just turned 13. And then I just turned 15 when we did our first warp tour. Yes! Yes, I love you. Jeremy's got a little nickname, <laughs> Jimmy. S-C-H-Z-I-M-M-Y. <laughs> we meet new new people all the time, so we're always like, hey, I'm Josh. He's like, I'm Jeremy. And they're like, hey, Jimmy. <gasps> they're like, oh, Jimmy. They used to make one of my gap a lot. Gilbert. SpongeBob. 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 Like, she's already yelling. Gappers. Sugarfish. Great. <laughs> Basically, Janik, who owns Fuel by Ramen, he saw us play and really wanted us to be on the Warp Tour. Third Warp Tour. Yeah. First year, we played a little like do it yourself stage, all like girl bands. Awesome. Okay. Um, cool. Thank, thank you, you very much. Have fun. Thank guys. you guys. Bye. Came back the next year and played on a bigger stage. Now this main stage. Yeah, I definitely get nervous. I don't really get over being nervous. I just I don't know, walk out there. Once I walk out there, I'm pretty. our butts off the first couple of years and I think that's really benefited us a lot. We were out like 500 flyers every day. Yeah. We're like, Paramore, 310. Wake up at 7 in the morning and we would sit at our tent and we would get stacks. Flyers from Fuel by Ramen and there'd be stacks like this big and we'd each just take a big stack and just start riding Paramore. <laughs> Purple with glitter and a gun on them. And the other 
other side, purpley glitter, and it says in silver, it says shoot, dang it. I'm gonna right, get in and then jump out, and we're gonna go back to Warp Tour. You're gonna be like all wet. Never Rocky would have done it. Is that a federal offense? Yep. that we did the first two years. We look back and we're like, man, I'm so glad we did that. We just remind ourselves of that daily. It's like, I, I play guitar for 30 minutes a day for a living. <laughs> That's awesome. outside of just the bus and the venues. One thing I would change about touring is just being away from home so much. I come back home and my younger brother has a deeper voice than me. <laughs> and yeah. then I totally miss that, you know? And my little sister, I come back and she's like way taller and she's all mature now and she has <laughs> she crushes boys? on boys, yeah. <laughs> The problem that I ran into a lot writing the lyrics to Riot was that we'd been on tour for two years and my whole life was just a road and you know stages and kids' faces every night and Josh started writing music while we were on tour and I couldn't write anything for months and as soon as we got home, songs just started pouring out. I'm just gonna drop it down. This year, things started happening for us and it kind of feels like the Warp Tour is like blowing it all up and really taking us to a, a new level, as it always has done. <laughs> Radio's picking up with the new record having come out. All right, so you think you're ready. It's time to show me right here and now. intensity of the crowd. It's sort of a, a hard thing getting around. Especially with these guys, they love the fans, so you know they want to stop and talk to all of them. We can't always do that. We're the bad guys. All the Paramore fans that want to get pictures and aren't allowed to, it's because of me and Will. It's not the band. We'll get back to the bus and be like, why didn't you let us take pictures with our fans? And I'll be like, it's because you got to eat lunch today. The pressures of this business now are to develop artists so quickly. That's the only thing that worries me about Paramore. Oh look, I got a thingy. All these new magazines and all these new people are just coming in and asking those same questions that we've already, you know, we've been asked for like two years straight. What's it like being the only girl? I, I try to come up with like some new, some fresh ways to answer it, but I can't. People like that that are completely genuine, the only thing I'm worried about is that they're still 18 years old. When something's wrong. The main thing that drives me up the wall a lot of times with, with interviews is like the focus on Haley. Hey, is it true that that Haley's the leader of the band? Yeah, she sings lead box. 
She's like the leader of everything. She's like right? the, yes, of, of the world. She's like the Joan of Arc of punk rock. Yes. I'm in enough interviews. I can just go listen to music in the bunk. They're like, Haley, you need to do an interview. I'm like, ha ha. The kids, like, when we're done playing, we'll just like all run over and try to jump over fences. <laughs> There's a couple bands that are on the tour this year that we've known for a while. Under Oath, Newfound Glory. Any of you guys get the chance to see Newfound Glory today? They played right before us. We get so many shout outs a day. A shout out from Paramore, that's cool, but that's kind of like a four on the cool level. Oh, oh really? It's really awesome to have friends that do what you do, because obviously they understand what your life is like. Like it just gives you someone to laugh with and talk to. Come on. Come on, warm up. All right, baby. See, that was, that was really awkward because we had to pretend to be like that guy, but we really don't. He's actually, he's actually one of the meanest guys on the tour. Yeah. It's really cool to know that there's people who've been in the business for, you know, like 10 years, but they're still sane and they're still just great guys. When I saw Paramore on the tour, I went and watched them, and they sound better live than they do on the record. They're, like, really good musicians. And then you meet them, and they're outgoing, and they're really nice, and they just, like, are happy to, like, just be alive and be in a band and go on tour. Even though they're, like, kind of maybe more popular than some of the other bands on the Warped Tour, they're still grounded and have really cool attitudes about everything. They're definitely being pulled in a million directions, and I'm seeing it. See, this feels heavy, but it's not freaking sinking. It's just floating on top of the water. Them as band members, I don't worry about. But, I mean, the wear and tear and what they are doing out here, the schedule's pretty tight. Kevin Lyman, we've known him since we started Warp Tour in 05. And ever since then, he's just been, like, so supportive. One of, like, the main supporters of our band. Can yeah, I need you to fix this, Jeremy? All right, Macho. Macho, you're freaking me out. Don't ever pull that on there. Right, let the current take. There you go. It's gone. Okay, let go of this. Let go of right here. It's taking itself out. Grab it with your finger. Their maturity level is just there. I mean, the way that they deal with people. They're genuinely nice people. You can tell they came from a pretty solid family foundation. Our families are, are like psycho fans. Like, they've got our stickers on their car. <laughs> they tell everybody about us. They bring our CDs. And we're like, oh, yeah, my son's in this band. My mom always cries when we play. <laughs> and it's really weird when they cry. I'm like, oh, I cry when you guys play. <laughs> it's so sweet. It's just yeah, really it's, awkward. Yeah, it's really awkward. Like, but they're just really proud of us. I don't think we'd be here if they weren't, you know, so supportive and proud. They're really strong, dude. I don't know if you're gonna get that open. Yeah. We're gonna release this one. Go, go be free. <laughs> we had an interview with Kevin um, on his bus. And I realized their time was being so torn apart on them. He just told us, you know, I can tell you guys are having trouble relaxing and I want to take you guys fishing. No interviews, no nothing. We're going fishing. I mean, it was something that we planned for a month, and we tried to get out of all of our press, and we still couldn't. I mean, we got out there, we were catching bait, and they were having a good time. That's the true spirit of being young. I credit Kevin for just reminding us that, like, it's not all about this hype and this craziness. Like, we still have to keep focused on who we are as people, as kids. They're going to spend most of their life on the road. Pick up fishing, because you can always catch a fish anywhere. can see one second of your life, like a photo, or even walking by you in a day, and they can see like one look on your face and get whatever they want out of it. There's a picture of me and the guys like in a huddle and I'm saying something, but I guess I look like I'm kissing someone. And they're like, oh, they're all kissing, you know? And yeah, like it's a three-way kiss. That sort of stuff will only get worse as we grow as a band because, you know, when a band does something big, they think it's selling out. And I feel like now it's just sort of like the start of all those rumors. Like, I think they'll be like 10 times worse in a couple of years. from my room. I can't tell if those are supposed to be turds or seeds. There's a lady behind us, she's on the phone, she's like, there's a band here and they're making a video. Right now, they're making a video. She is the coolest girl I've ever met in my life because she's not really like a girl. She's like one of the dudes, but yet she still has her own girly thing she does. They were just... That's a tight butt. This one right here. You'd never know that she could sing like that. For one, she's not cocky at all about it. Warp Tour, I don't know what it is, but it sounds awesome. Haley is the lead singer for a reason. You know, she's really good at not letting things get to her head. I'm not saying that if we were in that position, we would, but I feel like being like a guy, it's a little easier to be prideful. 
Me and Josh are like violent, dude. Dude, she's gonna kill me. From on stage to like, signings or interviews, she fits her role perfectly. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. I like your phone. It's rad. She's seriously one of my best friends in the whole entire like Earth world. I don't know. Zach is, first of all, an incredibly talented drummer. He's been that way since I met him, since he was 11. Zach is, as my dad would say, a piece of work. <laughs> Basically, he's like, I'm who I am, and if you don't like it, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna be who I am, and he's really like inspired all of us to be that way. The rest of us in the band, we kind of need to have some space every once in a while just to like settle down, but he is like going, going, going 24 seven. So they're gonna be like, can't see your laminate? And I'll be like, oh. This one? Uh, he makes me laugh all the time. I like to goof off also. And... I want to learn the banjo so bad. You know, we've always just clicked. And I think that's why he and I started this band. That's hilarious. I'm not a banjo player, and neither is that. <laughs> if it wasn't for him, I don't think we'd be able to be ourselves as much in front of like cameras or in interviews or anything, because he just kind of like makes it to where it's like fun. Dude, I wish I could plug this into my hand. Since Josh and Zach are both brothers, they butt heads because Zach is at that age. I'm younger than Josh. There's Nate and then Josh and then me. Josh is the most artistic one in the band. See you later, Alligator. Yeah. I'm so confused right now. I can't sing. There you go. A lot of times people think he's really quiet, but it's really just when you meet him, he's kind of shy at first, and then once you get to know him, he's like crazy dude. Yeah, that's right. Everyone at first is like, well, I don't think he likes me. He totally does. He's just like, it takes him a while to like really be the person who he is around us. He's a leader. It seems like he thinks it's gonna slip out of his fingers if he doesn't hold on to it all. Me and him butted heads a lot, you know? And back then I'm thinking, okay, I'm never gonna like get along with this guy and it's just gonna end up being a mess and getting worse. And I mean, seriously, I love, I love Josh. I would say, out of everyone, me and him argue, like, the least. Jeremy, uh, when we started out, was kind of the odd kid out because he was just into sort of a different style than everyone else in the band and kind of like into hip hop. Oh! It took a while for Jeremy to, like, <laughs> wear some tight clothes, but he's finally, he, man, he has the tightest jeans out of all of us now. Me and Jeremy are the goofy, carefree kind of dudes, and Haley and Josh are the more serious, let's get to business, let's worry about stuff. They're just basically the leaders, you know, and so whenever we're like fighting, it's just because me and Jeremy are goofing off too much. It never takes more than a day to just work it out, you know? We'll build up this so much like, oh, but you were doing this, and then, then um, two hours later, it's just like, I'm sorry, we love you. How good does that make you feel? I see Jeremy and Haley just like I see Josh. Yeah! And they're just like my brothers and sisters. You got it? Oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is what I'm talking about. It feels like we're creating something really cool on the road, like a home. It's, it's taken us three years to get to this point. Seriously, like a big family. We're all really happy right now. We just want to thank you guys for all your support and just being there for us. We seriously tell everybody we have the best fans and we really appreciate what you guys do for us because we love doing this. So we have you to thank.
we are out. Let's break stuff. <laughs> <laughs>